I got uh, food, I mean money, to uh, buy some candles to the house. And I was in that store and they were this delicious chocolate covered cookies. And I had, I don't know, 30 cents or 50 cents that was necessary for four candles. And I wanted to do what my mother told me and I always did it. But this time I thought two candles and two cookies would do. So I bought two cookies and bought two candles and placed the um, candlesticks on the mantle that had a mirror in them. And I figured, well, she light the candles and she will look at them and see that uh, the image of the candles in the mirror. And this would um, be my getaway, my, my rescue. She asked, where are the candles? And I said, uh, here. But there are only two. But they look at the mirror. She said nothing. She didn't want to fish there the Shabbos to disturb the Sabbath. Not a word. Saturday afternoon, usually Father would have a dialogue with us, ask us what we learned this week, and uh, I had no problem about the tests. I studied because I enjoyed it, not to please anybody. I enjoyed studying. So everybody would get, depending on the season, a certain amount of uh, food. So you got a, a handful of cherries, blueberries, or whatever else the, the fruits were. Uh, pumpkin seeds, whatever. I got exactly half. And I didn't see that I did worse than my brother or my sisters. Uh, at the moment, I didn't remember about anything else. All I remembered was uh, I have been wronged. Why would I get... And I asked, where's the other half? What other half? The ones that everybody got. She said, come with me, took me over to the mirror, and showed me. So I learned, A, you cannot trick your mother. B, that there is reward and punishment. And it hurt momentarily. But the moment she said it, I figured she's got a point and she got it across perfectly well. Uh, my mother was not vindictive and usually forget things quickly. But this time I think A, she was right and B, she had a lesson to teach me.